Wall Street Journal has brought up a great point, and I want to find out if you agree. They're saying Gen Z is killing rock and roll. So how do they take rock and roll from the Hall of Fame to the Hall of Lame? We're going to talk about it right here, right now. On the screen, we have a little picture here. We'll read it to you. Wall Street Journal says, when did rock concerts become tame? Well, we can thank alcohol-free Gen Z. Conspicuous teetotaling is now prevalent at all the hot acts, confounding order, uh, confounding older partiers. This would have been alien to me back in the 70s, 80s, and 90s. And I've noticed that myself. In fact, there was a situation where someone kind of uh, didn't get enough water at a concert. The pop star, Conan Gray, stopped midway through the performance recently to make sure someone tended to a fan who had been partying too hard. Then he lectured the audience. You see, this is why you all need to be sober. The 24-year-old tiss tiss the crowd, and then the Gen Zers cheered. Now, Gen Z on average drinks 20% less than millennials. They uh, drink less than previous generations already, and mainly because of increased awareness and the dangers and effects of alcohol. Now, I am all for clean living, healthy living, but when the whole crowd goes to see a rock show and then the person on stage is yelling at the crowd, hey, be more safe out there. And don't forget, be sure to use birth control, practice safe sex, and get to bed early. Yeah! Would that be a fun rock show for you? How come hip hop is saying, throw money on them hoes, twerk, and rock stars are like, you need to get good grades. Well, I thought a lot about that. And if rock is going to continue to change, then we're going to see all different things in the genre. Imagine had rock always been the tisk tisk school marm type. We would not have had, we're not going to take it. We would have had, we are going to take it right there on the screen. We're going to show that right there. We would have had Twisted Sister singing, we are going to take it. Yes, we are going to take it. How about this? Lady in red no we would have had non-binary in red proper pronouns that's right we would not have had the proper rock song right here you might know this band singing smoke on the water it would have changed uh vape on the water dun 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 dun, dun. how about this we will rock you with consent very important or you might have had something like this. You give love a bad pronoun. We would have had things like this. Pour some stevia on me. In the name of love. More importantly, this wouldn't have been a song. This would have merely been an observation. Dude looks like a lady. Perhaps she is a they. And who would have ever guessed that Shania Twain's hit song Man, I feel like a woman would have been a warning for things to come. Hey, I hope you enjoyed that very short clip, but I want you to check out the full episode. So here's what you need to do. Drink a vault, focus, and then click subscribe so you don't miss a single episode.